You, says Mal, are a wazzock. He picks his teeth, wipes the plaque on the mirror. A spawny-eyed Egypt, which concludes today's affirmations. His friends call him depressive. Martha does yoga, Charlie Pilates, Becky, Robin Des, Thai Zone Boxicism. Every day they feel better and better. They send him to therapy. NLP, EMDR, and CBT is given these affirmations by Susie the therapist, whom he quite fancies. Only Mal keeps telling himself he's an agent. The thing is, he is an agent. He doesn't answer his mum's phone calls or puts her on speakerphone and plays solitaire. He watches daytime TV. He keeps calling up his ex-girlfriend. There's two Beckys in his phone book. His breath stinks. He doesn't do pillowcases. And he never gives to children in need. Mal gives his friends suggestions of the world. When Susie the therapist ends their sessions, he goes back to his pillows, daytime TV and halitosis. One by one, his friends phone. Martha's gone bankrupt. Charlie infertile. Becky's terminally ill. Rob divorced. Des run over by bus. Unforeseen tribulations, and they suffer keenly. Mal's familiar misery is a comfort to them all. Him life cannot surprise. Contrary to the normal run of such stories, he's happy. You, he points, just warming up, are a malodorous twit. That's demonstrably true. Susie laughs sleepily. She passes the dental floss. But I love you for it. <laughs>